Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Stop throwing pity parties for yourself. Stop expecting others to join your pity party with you. You feel sorry for yourself because you're not where you want to be. You feel sorry for yourself because you missed out on an opportunity. You feel sorry for yourself because you had to grow up too fast. You feel sorry for yourself because you missed a lot of moments. Feeling sorry for yourself only adds to what's wrong. It doesn't fix anything. It makes it worse. Speak life. Speak life into yourself. Speak life into your finances. Speak life into your friendships. Speak life into your relationships. Speak life into your marriage. Speak life into the job you have, the career that you want. Speak life into your body. Even when things look like they will never change, even when you feel physically the worst, when you're mentally unhealthy, unstable, speak life into yourselves. Death in life really is in the power of the tongue. And as I get older, I understand more and more and more what that means. If there is nothing that you'll take away from today's video, speak life. A lot of times we can have the worst days or the best days, depending on what we're thinking, because what we think we say, you have to find the root cause. Why do you wallow in self-pity so much? Why do you constantly feel sorry for yourself? Why do you find yourself constantly complaining about the same thing? Find the root cause. What we dwell on comes from, it stems from the root of something that happened. Maybe you had a lot of childhood trauma. Your mother wasn't there. Your father wasn't there for you. Or maybe they were there for you, but they didn't pay any attention to you. You deal with neglect, with abandonment. Maybe the way your mom spoke to you, your dad spoke to you, created some deep-rooted insecurities. But as hard as it is to hear this, we can't change the past. What happened in the past happened. And it's a part of your story. It doesn't have to be who you are as a person today, you can change that. As much as we want to, to bring back things that we had in our past that we wish we still had today, you cannot change yesterday. But what we do have is today, this moment right now. Today will eventually be yesterday and tomorrow will be today. As much as we may have disliked what we had to go through in our past and things that we've experienced in our families and our upbringings and talking about those things over and over again with no intent to heal and resolve, you wallow in your sadness, you wallow in your pain and it sticks with you. Have y'all ever met somebody who is just so negative? Everything they say, some people speak so ill of their lives and they stay in a state of negativity to where that becomes who they are. Like I, I can't, I don't want this person to suck the life out of me. This little bit of positivity I have today, if I speak to them, they might drain that. Find out what those traumatic experiences were that are continuing to dwell in your present. Identify the root cause. You gotta get out of your head. Especially when you're home and you're isolated, you have a lot of time to think about some of everything. I am also an overthinker at times and I have to remind myself that sometimes it's not that deep. I really have to get out of my own head sometimes. You have to get out of your head. And one way to get out of your head is to get out. Go outside, take a walk, look outside of your situation, look outside of what you're going through and take a moment to literally step away from your work, step away from yourself, step out, get away, get out of your head. You have to hold yourself accountable. A lot of times when we're throwing pity parties and feeling sorry for ourselves, it's easy to blame another person for what you might be feeling and what you're going through and how they contributed to what you're going through. But one thing that I'm learning as I'm getting older and it's helping so much and it's actually easier to take accountability like, okay, this is where I messed up or this is where I need to do better. So for instance, if you're not feeling very well physically, I know for me, sometimes if it's super late at night and I get a little hungry, I'll go for the ice cream, I'll go for the snack, but then I wake up and I'm feeling really sluggish. A lot of it has to do with what I'm putting in my body before I go to bed. 
But then I notice that when I choose not to do that, when I choose to go get some water, just drink a bunch of water and that does fill you up, I feel a lot lighter and I don't feel as sluggish in the mornings. A lot of it has to do with what you're putting in your body. And then a lot of it has to do with what you're listening to and looking at at the end of every day, which you're allowing to feed in your mind. A lot of that can weigh very heavily, especially if you're already going through something quite heavy. It makes it 10 times worse. What am I going through right now that I can fix, that I can control? It's within my control to make even a little bit better. Think a lot about those things that you don't have, that you desire to have, but you don't have them. You don't have them yet. Maybe you want the marriage. You want a family and you find yourself thinking about it constantly. You feel sorry for yourself a lot because you don't have the things that you know you deserve. Your life still has meaning without that man in your life. Your life still has meaning without that woman in your life. It serves purpose. It has meaning without those things that you don't have now. But that doesn't mean that all hope is lost, especially if you still believe. Social media can be a lot to blame for this. Kind of get caught up in the lives of other people, especially these celebrities that we admire. But at the end of the day, we don't know these people personally. We don't know who they are behind closed doors. I really wanted to encourage you guys when you're having a moment to not wallow so long in self-pity because I know where that leads. It's a very dark place. It's a very cold place is a very lonely place. 2020 had to be like one of the worst years in my adult life. I suffered quite a few things that I never thought I would have to suffer or suffer again. Specifically with the, the pandemic kind of did a number on a lot of people. For a while, I sat in pity. I sat feeling sorry for myself because I couldn't believe at that time that that was my life, that I was actually going through all of those things that I was going through. And everything just seemed to be coming back to back to back to back. And it got to the point where I was just like, okay, God, enough. You know, I'm strong. I know I can handle this. I was built for this, but enough is enough. I need a break. I cannot take this anymore. Sitting in my, my pity and not really being able to get myself up out of that, I started to form some really bad habits and one of those habits was drinking alcohol more than I should. Waking up to the taste of alcohol on my tongue. Like literally, I didn't want orange juice, I didn't want milk, I didn't want coffee, I didn't want tea. I wanted alcohol first thing in the morning. When I felt bad and I didn't want to face the pain of what I was going through, I used alcohol as a, as a depressant. I didn't want to feel what I was going through. I didn't know how to deal with what I was going through. I was in a very dark, cold place and I sat there. I had a, I had a moment where I did not want to be in that space anymore mentally. I didn't want to be there anymore. Yeah, these things happened to me and they didn't have to happen to me, but it's a part of my story. How do I get myself up out of this? And here I am. YouTube started as something I just wanted to play around with back in 2018. But I didn't start getting serious about YouTube until 2020 after these, seri these series of losses happened. These aren't topics that I just think about in thin air and just say, okay, lights, camera, action, let's go. I literally feel a lot of these topics that I'm discussing because I've gone through them or I'm currently going through them. A few nights ago, I had a pity party for myself. I felt very sorry for myself. I was mad. I was upset because I was mentally, mentally drained, but I had a calendar set for myself for this month where I was going to record my YouTube videos. I was going to study for things that I'm studying outside of YouTube. When I get on here and I talk to y'all, there's just a certain way I like to present myself on camera. But this day, no matter how much I try to do my hair, do my makeup, I just, I was not feeling it. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I don't even know why I'm trying this hard. There's thousands and thousands of people who have YouTube channels and they get crazy views. And, and, you know, I'm just this small little percentage part of that. Like it won't even matter. You know, nobody will notice that I didn't post this week. Nobody will it, like, it's not that big of a deal. Why do I keep stressing myself out like this? Why do I do this to myself? I did that for about a good 20, 30 minutes. Let me, let me calm down, let me chill out. Today's just not the day. 
I sat in my room for a while and I just prayed. And I was like, God, I don't like feeling like this. I don't like this space. I need your help. Get me out of this, this slump that I'm falling into. You got some people who don't mind feeling sorry for themselves and they somewhat like the attention that people give them like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh God, I'm so sorry you feel like, but I'm not that person. I wanna be lifted up and I'm gonna do the same thing for my friends. I want you to be able to talk to me, but what I'm not gonna do is swim in that with you. I'm the friend that's gonna throw you the life jacket. I'm gonna help you get up out of this. We're in this era that we always have to be productive. We always have to be doing something. We have to be chasing a goal, chasing a dream. And if we're not, then we're lazy. It's good to sit still sometimes. Every day is not going to be a good day. Really just think about the moment that you're in, collect yourself, take a breath, chill out, get your eyes off your work, Get your eyes off your phone and just sit in silence. Just be in that moment. Ask for help. My videos, Trish Talk will help you. I have so many different kinds of videos and my channel is all about healing and relationships. I'm a slow burn. I, I like to put my food in the oven. I'll use the microwave every now and again, but I like the oven. It's a slow process, but it's worth the wait. Encourage yourselves. Speak positive affirmations over yourselves. And speaking of positive affirmations, I got these cards off of Amazon. These are daily affirmations. You can find these on Amazon. You can find them at Etsy. Just go to Google and type in affirmation cards and it'll take you to some of every site. If you're interested in my deck particularly, I'll give you guys a link in the description below where you can purchase. I'm gonna go ahead and pull one. We're gonna speak life into our situations. We're speaking life into our relationships, our marriages, our friendships, our jobs, the careers that we want. We're speaking life right now. So even though things don't look good right now, we're believing and we're, we're having faith that things will get better. They are going to get better. We believe that. Wow, here's a good one. So this is the one that we pulled. This is the card here. I know that I must stay in the present moment to enjoy the journey. I am right here. That is the affirmation. Stay in present. I speak about this all the time because this is something I have to constantly remind myself of. There are so many things that we need on our journeys and as small as they may seem right now, they make a big difference for your futures, whatever those hold. So stay present, stay in the moment, even when things don't feel good, stay present in the moment, stay thankful, stay grateful in this moment, in this season of your life. I also got a short deck of cards and they have 60 positive affirmation cards. So I'm gonna pull one from that deck as well. And we're gonna speak into the future that Trish Talk is gonna have her own affirmation cards that you guys are gonna be able to purchase. And this is good to do every morning. I do it every morning. I just shuffle and pull a card and I think about that affirmation all day. And sometimes I'll do it before I go to bed. Wow. I have power over my mind. And on the back, what steps do I take to redirect my thoughts when they descend into negative territory? We, we're just, this is, Wow, we we're just talking about this. I have power over my mind. It really is about, it's it's your mind. It's your mind. Things that we think, we give life to it when we think it and we say it, we give life to it. You have the power over your mind, over your thoughts. I really hope this video helped you guys. It's kind of freestyle. I did have a few notes, but I kind of just went off the dome because I wanted to get this off of my heart. 2020 happened to me. And here I am in 2022. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye.